What's going on everybody? Dato Doya here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time we'll be going over Bardock and how I would personally like to see him be played in the game. I did a similar video for Broly going over what I would like to see from the character, and I really do appreciate the response I got from you guys telling me where you agreed and disagreed with me, as well as posting your own thoughts on the character. I would love to see that happen again for this video as I am very curious on your guys' thoughts on how Bardock should be played. With that said, let's jump right into the major thing I want to see for Bardock, which is that I want this character to have numerous different ways to get in on his opponent. For those newer to fighting games, getting in on your opponent basically means you take it from a long distance fight and then taking that and putting it in a very close range, very uncomfortable situation for your opponent to be in. At this range it becomes less about keep away and more about when to strike and when to block. This means that if they have any beam attacks or any specials that take a long time to start up, those attacks won't be very effective in this range and instead they'll be replaced with like pummel attacks like Yamcha is very good at this range and I would like to see a similar thing for Bardock. This character strikes me as being a very savage kind of character, more about various strikes and I think you can see that in his supers as they both resemble just barrages of attacks. As you can see in his level 1 here he just goes straight for the attack and then follows it up with the riot javelin, more on that later. And then his level 3 is just a flurry of kicks and then finishing with a beam. Now I do think that in this trailer there are signs that point to Bardock being this type of character as one of his EX moves is a very fast forward moving attack in which he spins his arms around and that looks very Yamcha like. But there is also more that points to this as in the Japanese trailer at the end of it it says approach your opponent with invincible moves. And if that's true then this character is going to be amazing at getting in as any attack that they strike you with can simply be negated with one of your own attacks, which would be amazing for this character's pressure ability. Now the only area where I think Bardock should be like Yamcha is in that one specific area where they excel by being closer to their opponent. Other than that I think Bardock and Yamcha have a good chance at splitting off here. For example Yamcha is more of a out there kind of character, he's not very standard in his moveset as a lot of his tools operate differently than his Saiyan counterparts. So I think this is a good chance to do a Yamcha like character with Saiyan difficulty levels. You know we've seen in the trailer that his down heavy is very much like Goku's which shows that they are trying to take him in a more approachable direction. But the other area where I want him to differ from Yamcha is that when Yamcha gets in his pressure is more of a left right mix up game with his wolf fang fist than let's say what I would like to see with Bardock. For Bardock I would like to see him have a mix up game but definitely keep it more of a high low kind of thing. Much like Goku Blue's way of doing things where he has a combo that mixes you up if he's going to go overhead or low, I think Bardock should have that same type of attack. Other than that the only other thing I would like to see for Bardock would probably be that his level 1 turn into a level 2 almost sort of move, you know like Beerus and his ball where you can spend an extra meter to blow it up. I would like to see that happen with Bardock's level 1 as you see that after the flurry of strikes he does the riot javelin which I think could provide an interesting point where the character would have to manually click a button in order for Bardock to spend that extra meter and throw the riot javelin. And the last thing I would like to see for Bardock which I'm sure is not going to get in because it would be a balancing nightmare and it's something that punishes the opponent for doing good but I would just love to see Bardock have a mechanic where he gets better as his health gets lower. Again I know Balancing Nightmare punishes the opponent for beating you but still it's one of my favorite parts about Bardock's character and I think it would make him a unique character in Dragon Ball Fighters. But with that said I would love to hear your thoughts on Bardock as this is by far the character I'm hyped the most about to be released on March 28th by the way this is coming out very soon. So yeah let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Bardock and how you would like to see him be played and I'll be down in the comments as always. Quick thank you to my Patreons that make videos like this possible, I really do owe you guys a lot of thanks. I'm Dato Doya and I'll see you in the next one.